So with the Revenge of the Cartels event, we see new additions in terms of legendaries uh, added into the loot pool. Today we check out one of the best so far, the OPQ system. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out. If you guys want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. So fans of the Q system will be more so interested in this over others maybe. I was the same. The OP Q system is this game's legendary variant of the Q system. And well, it does not let you down. Man oh man, I am absolutely loving this thing. Best assault rifle in the game? Well, it's kind of too early to make that kind of a judgement. But it's definitely up there, people. So this OPQ system is an exclusive drop to the Revenge of the Cartels event. As far as I am aware, it's a random drop upon the Villa Ultraviolet on Joey's planet. I could be mistaken and it could drop elsewhere, or there might be other sources for this. But asking around and doing a little research, in these early days it seems everyone who has had this drop has had it upon Villa Ultraviolet. If you know otherwise, please let us know down below in that comments section. So what does this weapon do? What well, are its party tricks? Well people, after playing with it for a couple of hours, I have found it does some unique things. As upon hitting shots, it has a high possibility of dealing additional shot damage, which is at about that 50% mark of its standard damage output. And it also doesn't matter if it's a body shot or a crit shot. Now this additional damage I'd say is probably 1 in 2 or 1 in 3 of every shot you fire, which is a great addition for sure, but it also has a second firing mode called OPQ system, in which you fire at the weapon itself and it acts like a turret that follows you around and basically does what this weapon does, so in reality doubling its power. Or in the case of Zane, people out there using that playing dirty skill, it can triple its power because it seems as though the skill comes into play with this to when firing it in that OPQ mode you can spawn two of these turrets, which is kind of nice. But although this is a great addition, it isn't for the most part as efficient as you'd expect. Taking everything aboard though with what this weapon offers, this is just an added bonus for the most part, and I feel you won't even need to use it. And I say this because this weapon utterly mounts all. Now I got this playing on Mayhem mode at level 10, struggling through the Villa Ultraviolet, dying left, right and centre. But as soon as this weapon dropped, I equipped it and tore through the entire thing. This is on a standard Mayhem 4 build by the way, and this weapon just absolutely obliterated all, including the boss. And it's because, like we see, like the old Q system, it is a 2x variant, but it doesn't use 2 ammo per shot. So this variant and Mayhem 10 version deals over 14k per shot. 14k people from an assault rifle. And then we have this anointment, which I am still testing by the way, but it does help an absolute ton. And I feel this may just take the place for that classic Zayn Sentinel Cryo damage anointment. But a little more testing needs to be done there. So yeah people, the OP Q system is a true monster. It's everything the Q system is, it's everything you'd want from the Q system, but it just adds onto that. And I mean like I said it easily carried me through the Villa Ultraviolet without me even breaking a sweat on Mayhem on level 10. It's because it feels super snappy, it's got a great great sight, it's accurate, it deals amazing damage. And great possible anointments too, what more do you want? People go and get this thing. In my opinion it is the best assault rifle in the game right now. I mean I know it's a bit too early to judge that, but I find it kind of hard to think there will be a better one amongst this event. But hey we will see, I could be wrong. But yeah, the OPQ system dropped for me upon the Villa Ultraviolet, and as far as I'm aware right now, that's the only place it does drop. If you know otherwise, let us know down below in that comment section. Also guys, if you are new to my channel or never really make it this far into a video or want to join an amazing Borderlands community, join my Discord which is linked within that video description. I have dedicated trading sections for all platforms, dedicated looking for group channels for all platforms and much much more. Again, join my Discord linked within that video description. But yeah guys, these are my thoughts on OPQ system, a true monster of a weapon which you need to get. On that note, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on that next one.